Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now I know these videos can prove really popular because we all love a good Timu bargain and I have scoured their website and picked out some of my absolute faves. We've got some like kind of home aesthetics bits, some practical bits, some new decor, just a whole collection of different things that I wanted to share with you. And I am also working in partnership with them today. So I do also have a discount code for you guys. I will leave it in the description box along with links below for you. But essentially that discount code can offer newcomers a discount package of £100 worth of coupons off your Timu order. So be sure to take advantage of that. Make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink. Let's get comfy. Let's Let's have a little chin wag and catch up and show with you, show with you, share with you some of my new bits from Timu. So I'm going to start with some gorgeous home decor pieces and these are stunning. If you like that real rustic home decor vibe, I saw these two kind of like, they've got a whole selection of ones, but these two were my favourite. They're, I like the shape of them. This one's got like the kind of square topped handle and it's more of a terracotta colour and also looks a bit more like a jug. And then this one just has the rounded handle with the small spout. But if you did want to use any of these as um, like urns or vases for flowers, I personally just like them stood alone. They've also got the non-slip and protectors on the bottom. Just some stunning little rustic home decor vases. Guys, how cute is this little tray? So affordable. Gorgeous little display uh, tray in this beautiful, rich, kind of dark, kind of like acacia wood. So I'm thinking with this little stand, it could be good for seasonal decor. It could be good for having like a candle on, maybe a candle and a reed diffuser. You could have like hand soap, hand wash, and hand cream on here as well. Could use it as a little mini kind of coffee station with a couple of syrups on the possibilities really are endless with this simple item so this is first in my basket now for the kitchen i need to actually go and get some um foil and parchment paper that will fit in here but you've got the option of essentially having in your kitchen drawer stored nice and neat and organized the aesthetic lover will love this one it's like the dark wood but essentially you pop use these little um kind of cutters on the top you pop them let me just actually show you so they come with a sticker which you literally just peel off like so pop it within one of these slots here well there's actually three of them so once all three are added in you then just within the whole insert whatever it is whether you want cling film kitchen foil maybe baking paper they're probably the three that i would get and then you can simply pull it out as it rolls out you can then use this to trim it and it also comes with the labels of these different um foil plastic wax parchment again depending on what you want to pop in there this was just over 15 pounds when i got it and again i would i was more than happy something like this on zara home can you imagine how much more expensive it would be. Speaking of dark wood and kitchen items, how cute is this little kind of closhed lidded uh, wooden stand? You'd use it again for in the kitchen, like I said, which is probably how I would use it, with little mini cakes on here. And that rich dark wood is definitely something that I'm incorporating incorporating a lot more within my kitchen again that zara home style just on a budget much more affordable budget so you can get the look for less a couple of handy practical purchases that i needed to make firstly a new phone case and i can't even explain how many different phone case options they have i have just been boring and gone for the box standard black kind of silicon um but also not only a new phone case have i got but i also have picked up one of these and these are so honestly so great especially for me for my job but essentially you just peel off the stick i'll do it with you now like so stick it to the back of your phone so there we go it's now attached and i personally use this like i said for my work for say for instance i need to film a bit of a get ready with me or i'm in the bathroom and i want to stick it to the mirror whilst i'm getting ready if i just want to watch something whilst i'm getting ready or if i'm on an airplane or a train or traveling and i want to be able to hands-free watch something it's just really really handy so these are again about a pound so affordable so i've also got again for the kitchen i do like to 
rinse the kitchen section on Team You. But I've got this pet food container. It says pet food container, but you could definitely use it for just your own food. For cereals, for instance, it's really handy because it's got this lid which opens up. And this is why I like the idea of it as a pet food option, especially for travel because for Barney and his meals, that's probably, how many meals would that be? I don't even know how long that would last him. We should probably test it out and see how many I can get in there. But because it comes with this removable lid, it's great for pouring the food in. But also I like to use the lid. It's got measurements on it. So you can see how much food goes in there. So this is a cup's worth. But it's also got the measurements on the side, three quarters, half and a quarter. Another practical purchase, and for the cleaning lover, this is great. These little brushes are perfect for um, not only sort of brushing down the side, say for instance, if you're hosting on the dining table, you've got crumbs or whatever, you just need to sweep them up into like, um, into your hand in the bin or a little tray or whatever. But they're also great for cleaning in the windows. You know, when you open the window and you've got that kind of like track where it just gathers dust and dirt and you just, to get in there, sometimes with just a cloth, it's a bit hard. So to use a brush like this, to just brush it all out first, I think is super, super handy. So yeah, picked that one up again, super affordable. And then another kind of cleaning tool that I picked up is this little nifty device. I keep this in our kitchen drawer so that it's downstairs to hand where my little, say if I've got my phone on me for like cleaning in here or earpod, AirPods, AirPods. This is basically a little micro cleaning tool. So you've got on there a kind of sharp section here, and you've also got like a little mini brush. One of those things that you didn't even realize you needed until you had it. I did get a couple of bits for the outside of the house. So firstly this, which is literally just outside of the house because you attach this little acrylic kind of um, bird box to with these little suckies to your window or door or whatever. I think I'm gonna save for someone, I have someone in mind that I'm gonna give this to because I we have like a, a bird feeder outside with like a little camera, but I thought this would be good for if you don't have that, if you want a more affordable option to be able to look at the birds up close and personal, you just pop the seed in the bottom and yeah, oh God, can you imagine how much Barney would appreciate this if I pop this right next to his bed? I don't know if it would wind him up or if he would love bird watching that close. And then also for the garden, this is kind of like in prep and in advance of next year if you want to grow anything from seed, we've got this little kind of um, folder which has loads of different sections. You could even use this as a little like kind of photo album, that's what it reminds me of. It's got the individual inserts that you can fill with these that come with it. So I think you can do, you can buy the white ones or they come with brown paper if you prefer, but. There are these little, there's loads of them, these little seed packets, which you can um, pop some seeds in, take off the label, close it. You could even use these as little gifts as well for people. If you are a keen gardener and want to gift some seeds, the seed name, variety, the date collected, and any kind of growing notes, and then just slip it within your little folder and have all your seeds in one place. Even if you want to sort of just decant any kind of mixed packets if you've got loads of different sizes shapes colors and everything you just want them to have that aesthetic look and all organized and dated then that would be really handy for that i did buy this burlap it's literally just a roll of burlap which i thought would be really nice for outdoor dining or indoor on our dining table but it's just essentially one large roll that you can roll down the middle of the the dining table and use it as a bit of a table runner they do lots of different sizes so say for instance you're planning a wedding you've got like the cake section that you want on display on a little table but you just want to dress the table a bit nicer i think a roll of burlap like that comes in super super handy i got these i think i'm going to frame them hold on let me just open them up first and foremost it's a set of two prints but they're on this kind of like canvas paper so they need obviously framing this is just a poster but they're so nice because they've got that kind of oil painting effect. They actually look like a real oil painting. So yeah, again, really affordable because it's not an original oil painting, but you get the look for less. And because of that kind of sheen that it's got, I would have this in a frame, but without the glass on the front of the frame. And then to complement it, if you're wanting them side by side, the second one, Looks like that, nice kind of countryside imagery. I love these 
so much. I think I'm gonna look for a frame with a mount um, so that we can go quite big with those ones. I did get some smaller ones. I'll show you them anyway, but they're not quite, now that I've got them here in person, they're not quite the style that I wanted. So I definitely do prefer the other ones, but I'll show you these ones anyway, because some of you guys might prefer this one. Um, this one is a pack of six. So you can actually do a bit of a wall art, um, what do they call it, gallery wall with these ones. They're all similar, they're not the exact same, but they are all quite similar. They're kind of like a black and white line drawing of different trees and different kind of landscapes. Yeah, lots of trees, this one. That's kind of like a little hut in the middle of nowhere by the looks of things. That one's actually more of like a beach landscape, I think. I definitely prefer the other ones. Let me know of the two, which do you prefer, the colored or the black and white? This is a very practical purchase that the Cricket Widow and me thought would come in very handy for any kind of cricket games that I want to go and watch Tom play, but I want to be comfy and there's no seats left. This, which comes in its little carrier bag with a handle, drawstring closure, um, so nice and easy to carry, really lightweight, and it's actually a pop-up chair, but it doesn't, because you've not, not got the like weight and the bulkiness of the legs, this essentially just falls on the, like sits on the ground. So there's one leg, there's two leg, attached to the back, and then that just stands up against the floor so that you can sit on this cushion bit you can even take a cushion with you but sit on the floor and then have that section as a, a sort of like a back support you literally just pop it away like i've just shown you roll it up and pop it back in its carrier how simple is that again they came in loads of different colors i just thought keep it nice and simple with black for that one and then i did also get to again go with it i'm just going to keep these literally in my car so that i've always got them there but again another kind of like blanket that you can just throw out these are quite big i'll leave an image on the screen from the website what they look like once opened up but you can pop these as a little throws to keep warm or as little picnic blankets kind of laid out on the grass and then lastly i got this Bit of a treat this one because it's actually a like neck massager which i can get really stiff on my neck and shoulders i think they do this in black as well as like this kind of creamy color which is the one that i went for a little contraption which you can charge up here you've got the handle straps as well if you want to be able to hold them these literally move and massage you as you're holding it against the back of your neck and your shoulders i can already feel that this is gonna be like heaven even not when it turned on just like holding it like that right oh wow that is gonna be so nice it's right in the kind of areas within my neck i can tell which is the areas that i get get like knots and stuff it's a little pamper treat maybe a good gift idea for someone that does get a bit tense in their neck and shoulders it's a bit like the massage guns as well that you can get for tight muscles so anyway that is my Timu haul let me know of all of these items if you're going to pick anything up yourself or if you're a fan of Timu, if you've never tried it before if you've never shopped on there and if you do want to again don't forget to use that discount code which i'll leave linked in the description box and that voucher will get you 100 pounds worth of discount coupons to your Timu order i hope you guys have enjoyed this little haul thumbs up if you have subscribe for more and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys